Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I got a recipe here for you guys today that uh, was kind of everywhere when I was a kid. This recipe was at every potluck, every church function, every summer work crew, every picnic that I went to until I was about 14 years old, 15 years old. And what it is, is it's chicken gumbo soup sloppy joes it was just a big thing around here and it was everywhere and it's one of my favorite sloppy joe um recipes and uh you can make it with beef you can make it with venison you can uh, make it ahead of time put it in a crock pot take it somewhere it's good for like uh, out camping because you don't have to have a lot of stuff with you or it's stuff that you kind of already got with you and what it is is you brown uh, a pound of ground beef. I actually have two here, so this is a double recipe. And you put in some mustard, you put in some ketchup, you put in some uh, salt and pepper, and uh, some cut up onions, and then you use Campbell's Chicken Gumbo Soup. And this is the main um, ingredient that flavors this uh, Sloppy Joe recipe. And uh, like I said, it's something easy enough to make because you know, when you're out camping or whatever, you're probably going to have mustard and ketchup with you anyway. You throw a couple cans of this in. You got your ground beef in the cooler. It's good. You know, you're taking out to feed a bunch of people on a work crew or something. It's uh, it's sort of the same thing. You can make a crock pot of this in advance, and you can take it out uh, to wherever they're working so everybody can have a, a hot meal. But I'm going to do it off-grid for you guys out here. I was going to do it outside, but it's uh, windy out, so I can't... Uh, you won't be able to hear me. So anyway, I'm going to start my uh, Mr. Heater up here and hopefully not uh, burn the hair off my knuckles. Let this get warmed up. And we're going to get the old cast iron on here. We're going to get this... Uh, cooked up for you guys and then we're going to come back to you when it's done and I'll show you how to put it together. Alright guys, this is about three quarters done now. You can see I didn't really turn this much and you don't want to turn uh, this ground beef um, a lot at the beginning because you want that crust to form on uh, on the meat while you're cooking. So we're gonna flip this now. Hopefully I got a nice brown uh, brown pieces here. You can see that brown right there, that's where all your flavors are at. So you want a lot of that. Whenever you're making anything with ground beef, you don't wanna turn it a lot when you're first starting because you want that kind of brown crust to form. But this is almost done here. I'm gonna flip this last bit here. We're going to finish uh, browning this up, and then we're going to get the ingredients in this. All right, I set this down off the burner so I can show you guys uh, how to put this together. I put a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper in here, and now I'm going to add a cup of cut-up onions. This is just red and uh, yellow onions that I had here. Going to mix that in. Then we're going to put in about uh, two tablespoons of ketchup. And then we're going to put in about a tablespoon of mustard. And then we're going to add the star of the show here, two cans of uh, Campbell's Chicken Gumbo Soup. second one and you if you're only doing one pound of uh, ground beef you just use one can of gumbo soup and uh, probably a half of a tablespoon of mustard and one tablespoon of ketchup mix this up a little bit here get all the flavor off the bottom of the pan and this is just one of those recipes that sounds weird but tastes really good you wouldn't think that chicken gumbo soup would make this as good as what it is. All right, I'm going to set this back up on the heat here. We're going to bring this up to a, a little bit of a boil where it's bubbling, and then it's done. Pretty much at this point, it's all you got to do.
All right, guys, this has been cooking about uh, eight minutes or so. So the uh, onions got soft and the flavors got together. And you can kind of see here what it looks like. We're going to take a, a little scoop here and get it on a bun. You can add a little bit uh, extra mustard to it if you prefer, or you can have this with uh, bread and butter pickles or a uh, like a homemade dill pickle. That's kind of how I remember having these. And uh, take a bite here, see how it turned out. Just like I remember it. Um, and this is one of those things, too, that's actually, uh, the longer it sits, the better it gets. So anyway, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you guys got a little information, a little entertainment out of this video here. Just an unusual recipe that's uh, pretty common around here and was really common years ago. It's fell out of favor a little bit uh, in the last probably 10 years or so, but when I was a kid, this was really big. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video here. Got something out of it. Just to add another recipe to your uh, toolbox. You guys take care.